Hi everyone, welcome to the second to last day of Odd Animal ABCs. Today we're on to letter Y, which stands not for yak, but for Yeti crab. You may not be familiar with this animal because it was only discovered in 2005 in the Pacific Ocean, actually very deep in the Pacific Ocean. These are white, hairy crabs that actually have no eyes. I took artistic license to add some online to give it a little character. But they live deep, deep down in the ocean and have hairy front and back legs, which it's speculated might help them feel around the ocean floor because they are blind. And other ideas are projected that maybe they actually are growing bacteria and um, other animals on those hairs that, that they can then eat. So not a lot known about this animal just yet, which is very exciting. But we'll go ahead and get started then. Grab a sheet of blank paper and a drawing utensil. Today I'll turn your page short end facing you. We'll have him pointing towards the top of the page so we have plenty of space for those long hairy claws at the end. I actually want you to begin a little bit differently today. We're gonna to start with his body shape, which is kind of an egg-like shape, not quite teardropped. So it's gonna come almost to a point at the top and be rounder and wider at the bottom. So starting at the top, I'm just gonna take that down, curve it under and then back up to a point. And it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add part of his pinchers. So from the top, I'm gonna to do a curve up almost to a point, almost a triangular shape, and take it back down. Do the same thing on the other side here. That's the start of his front claws. Excuse me, actually that's where his antenna will be. So from here, go ahead and draw a line straight up in a curve, and then right there, there's his feelers. Now for his claws, we're gonna do a similar curve shape up towards the top end of our page. So we'll start with one here on the left, take it up, and then about an inch or so away from that one, take another one up and we're gonna make it come to um, more of a narrow point at the top. We'll add his little claws on from here. So then on this side, do that same shape, take it wide, almost to narrow at the top. And then I'm gonna do a curve and then draw it straight down. And then the same thing, these are his pinchers, just like you'd expect to see on a normal crab, right? Same thing on this side, curve and a straight line down, curve, and we'll curve that under there. I added a little bit of detail. They have little points on their claws here, so if you wanna add just some simple little dots there, you can. Next, we'll do his back legs. These are just gonna be a series of lines. So there's two sets on each side. So I'm gonna do two parallel lines coming out from the end of his body here. And then in the opposite direction, take those diagonally down. And we'll do one more just like that on this side. And then let's do the same thing on the other side here. We'll go up first and then down. And then one more set right here. And then on the end of those, I just did a curve. So we'll do that just to connect the ends of each. And then from there, the fun part, we'll add a little bit more detail. As I said, they don't actually have eyes, but if you wanna add a little um, half circle here with the dot for the pupil to pretend like he has eyes, give him a little personality, you can do so. Or maybe you leave him looking a little bit more natural. Next, they have um, some lines on the back of their shell that show the different um, pieces of their natural armor so it's just simply a curve up near the front claws here and then one more down here at the bottom with the straight line between the two to separate the different portions and then the last part we'll just go ahead and add that fur right it's not really fur like you find on a mammal like we've drawn before but that's kind of what it looks like and hence the name yeti crab right because they are white they have the appearance of an abominable snowman, kind of, right? Like a Yeti. And there is your Yeti crab. We've got one more letter to go tomorrow, so come on back tomorrow for letter Z.